Welcome for this very quick tutorial because Google Sites is very simple to use, okay? But basically, you need to play around with Google Sites and understand what it can do before you do your final design. So, go onto your Google Drive, okay? And then click into the apps and then go to Sites, as you can see on the screen. Once you're there, you'll have the choice, okay? You can create in classic sites or new sites. You're going to se select new sites because that gives um, far more options. Then a template comes up, okay? And what you need to do is just mess around with all the things that you can possibly do. It's fairly intuitive, so anything here we can um, change, okay? And type in, so, e portfolio, okay? Your, enter your site name, it needs to be your name, okay, so we can uh, see you, okay, uh, we can change the image, you can change the image by uploading one, or selecting one through a Google search, through entering the URL, so the uh, address of the uh, image on the web websites you can find, okay, um, or go in and find you from your album that you've done yourself. Okay, so you can change your image that easy. Um, we can, if we select these things, you can see they appear here. We can change whether it's a heading or title. Okay, so let me try that again. So title, there we go, changes, and then we can keep on typing away for whatever we might do. So a preview introduction about ourselves. Uh, we can put an image in. So I'm going to search for one. So maybe FC United, because that's my football team. So any portfolio about me. So there we go. I'm going to pop that in. Okay. Again, we can move this around. Okay. Maybe I want it bigger than that. So I'm going to increase the size of it. Okay. okay. So it looks okay there. Um, I can insert a video from YouTube. So again. Let's stick on the theme of FC United. There we go, FC United with club with a capital C. This is my club, so let's stick that one in and select that. And again, we can pop that there. We can increase the size of it. Okay, we can decrease the size of it. We could even pop it on this side. Okay, so it comes up there if you really wanted to. So it's really quite flexible and hopefully straightforward. But I'm going to pop it back down here and make it a little bit bigger. Okay, some cool features that you might want to look at are these. These change the emphasis. Okay, so uh, we can change certain parts of our um, page. So maybe I just want it slightly grey so we know I'm moving to a different part of it. Um, or you can put an image across the entire back. So let me show you what that looks like. So da, da, da. I'm going to go image. So I'm going to select an image. Let's do football. Oh, no. Go back and search football. Let's see what comes up. So uh, don't want this American stuff. So let's stick this in. Wait a second for it to register. So it's just changing the readability. There you go. So the picture now is in that entire um, part there. Okay, so you can see how that looks. And there's lots of things you can do. So it's down to your own imagination. We can stick documents in, we can stick slides in, but you can investigate yourself. So all your Google Docs you can embed within a, uh, a page. Um, to select the page, it's dead easy. Okay, we just add a page. So we want one on digital design. So we stick that in there. Done. Okay, there we go. We've got a page on digital design now. And we're going to go back to our home page. Okay. To our home page, like that. Okay. Themes. Uh, th there's only a handful of themes at the moment, but still, you can do some uh, good stuff with them. So you can see it changes the theme and the backgrounds and things. You can change the colors of the themes. So maybe I don't want it as a sort of ready thing, I want it as a green. So as you see, it changes now on the screen. I could change the font I want. Okay, so maybe I don't want that. I want now. So you see, it changes it throughout the entire site. So that's quite a good thing to have. Okay, so I think that's basically 
everything you really need to know. You, you just need to play around with it. Before I go, let me show you a site I did earlier. This took me probably about 20 minutes to give you an idea. So I've got my surname, Monahan Portfolio. Um, I've created different pages. So again, to make it easy for people to find, okay, I've got my digital design page. But below my digital design page, okay, I've got digital design M1. Um, and so on. So I've got like a little video about myself. I've got you know what my passion is. I've got a video about that. I could enter quick links. So all these are links to um, certain pages that I've put in, just to give you an idea of what's possible. So it's just loading up. Let's just give it a second or two. Okay. Obviously, it's not very quick links. <laughs> okay, we'll come back to that in a second. Um, so if we go into digital design. So imagine we've got a page for each of my our subjects. I've got what digital design is, a bit, bit of a video about what digital design is. Um, but I can click on digital design M1. So for your other subjects, you might have English semester one or quarter one. Okay, so semester one project. I've got about the project. I've got my example of my work in there. I've got some videos that I took about my project. Um, so this is safe. So okay, I'll just go through that very quickly but um, essentially you can put your um, a copy of what the teachers giving you in terms of feedback on there by doing a screenshot then you can do reflections on your screen uh, on your grades and what you've uh, done or haven't done okay um, and obviously anything else you can think of that might be uh, quite a good idea to do anyway that's a bit of an overview have a look around yourself, play around, and then from that, do your designs. Okay, bye-bye.